Welcome to Duplo Center. Duplo. Wait, what? Oh, it's not Duplo? Dunstein? I loved those ones, though. They had the little Ooh, rabbit. And- podcast. Oh, right. Sorry. Dupo Remo. Recording month. Wait, it wasn't Remo Williams that... The adventure begins. Yeah. I don't guess we've gotten off topic. Yeah. But it's just, again, it's the whole the movie things. The things they used to rely on don't really work anymore. And, Aren't reliable. And if more bad superhero movies are made then eventually the bottom will drop out of the superhero genre like all genres do. you know. But if Amazing Spider-Man and Avengers and Dark Knight Rises are all good, then you know they'll all make a ton of money and the next year we'll see a bunch more and all that. It's just when they focus on the special effects and the characters mean nothing, the story means nothing and nobody cares, nobody has a reason to care, then it becomes an empty experience. Then it becomes something that you regret going to. Yep, you want your two hours back because life only lasts so long. Would you go see a movie called Life Only Lasts So Long? Sure, that's a good title. What about The Death and Life of Johnny St. Lipper? What's his name? Charlie Charlie St. Cloud. Cloud. (laughs) Sorry, I'm steering us back on course. Go! Uh Wait, this is a subject for another day, isn't it? Oh, I thought this was supposed to be our sequel to the last episode. But we've been recording for 45 minutes. About... True. Let's keep going and finish it off. Oh, okay. Well, I, I see where you're going with that. Yeah, uh, we had the episode where we talked about... I called them the boys versus girls episodes. And it's mostly because at the very end, I started talking about boys are, are stupid, throw rocks at them. And, and, and just the, how ugly... That seems to be. But but it didn't really need to be about that. It was just about the perceived idea that women wouldn't go see a movie with a certain word in the title. But, you know, just a second ago, you looked up Snow White and the Huntsman. And I don't know if the studio is just quaking in its boots, worried that men won't go see a movie with Snow White in the title. I, I, I have no idea. That's why it's not just called Snow White. It's Snow White and the Huntsman. Because that's tough. <sighs> Even though the Huntsman was not a character of any importance in Snow White, he was the guy that couldn't cut her heart out and told her to run off. He had like a one-minute part. But that doesn't matter. I mean, we live in the era of Alice in Wonderland being all about the Mad Hatter. <laughs> right. It's a a reimagining, if you will, of a classic fairy tale or a story that's the, so old, where the focus is on something new, like the the Wizard of Oz prequel. That's all about the wizard. Well, he was the title character. Yeah, I'm surprised that they didn't call it Dorothy Gale and the Wizard of Oz or something like that. But who, who cares this, about that? What I'm, Snow White and the Huntsman is the Cinderella of <laughs> my lady. The, the poster for Snow White and the Huntsman, or, or at least one of the posters, the one I saw at the local cinema is Kristen Stewart with a sword and a shield and armor and no smile on her face. Oh, wait, it's Kristen Stewart. That goes without saying. Oh, and the dwarves are all behind her with like swords and crap too. Yeah, it's just it's Snow White reimagined as an action movie. Snow White plays Joan of Arc. Well, there you it's, go. it's That's basically Alice in Wonderland from a couple years ago, but now it's Snow White instead oh, of Alice. You're totally right, because they gave her armor and yeah. a sword and all and this horse shit. And she fought the Jabberwocky with a sword at the end and oh. saved Wonderland or whatever. Oh, hey, I, I know that this episode has gone long, but I challenge you. I task you Ooh. with watching the last minute of the Disney Alice in Wonderland movie. And not taking your life immediately afterwards. Your <laughs> mission, if you choose to accept it, is to watch the Der Flugehagen dance that friggin' Johnny Depp does at the end of that movie. One of the biggest cinematic atrocities ever made, including like Triumph of the Will and <laughs> Birth, of a, Birth of a Nation. And, th- you know, oh, just there have been snuff films that you get a more positive result from than watching the final moment of that film to be continued next time that gets my go is produced under a creative commons 3.0 license that'll teach you
he's the woodsman, right? In the no, you keep saying that. No, I, I who is it? I don't. It might be Thor, Chris Hemsworth. Really? That's the woodsman. Oh, I was. Do you sure want to look was... it up? I know it's not Depp, but last week you asked and, and I couldn't remember. I thought that it might be Gerard Butler or somebody like that. But I thought it was somebody with a bigger name than that. Yeah, it says right there. Oh, it is Chris Hemsworth. Looks like some freaking battle movie. It's Snow White. I mean, come on. Yeah, it really. Got a guy with a sword and a shield on the cover. Doing what they can to get guys to go to it, I guess, like we're always talking. 